if you double tap. Hi everybody, my name's Gemma and welcome to my channel. Today, this week I've made another expensive apple purchase um, and I've purchased these AirPods, they're called. I keep calling them EarPods, but apparently that's not what they're called. AirPods. Um, I thought these were really daft when they first came out, about a year and a half ago. They're literally just like the end of earphones with no wires. So they're just going to be like in your ears. Anyway, so today I'm going to unbox this, unbox them and show you what they're like. First impressions and all that. Okay, so they're in like a little fancy box as usual. Reminds me of like a jewellery box. Just got the AirPods on the top and it says like AirPods around. Oops. Um, inside is designed by Apple in Florida again. There's an instruction manual. And then there's this and nothing else. Uh, I'll undo this. They must be inside of this thing. So there's like a little shiny case. Oh, and there they are. Um, so they're literally just in this little case, it's got like a magnet on the top. And they, oh, they just come out. I'm just putting one in my ear already to see. So they are in your ear. They do look a bit daft. They do fit quite well actually. They feel like um, almost as if they fit too well. They feel a bit like, have you ever tried, um, oh there's a light on this, a green light and then there's a little plug in the end. There's no wire. Oh, oh there's a wire underneath. So oh, you get a wire with it. Just a standard lightning cable. Obviously it goes in there, you can plug all your other things in with it. Which is quite good, I actually needed one of these. Is it longer than a normal one? No, they're the same size. Sorry, I was getting over excited then, I thought it was a bit longer than the normal one. But I really think I'm going to lose these. Can't lose these, they were so expensive. They just go back in and then they just must charge in there. Oh, it's like a little magnetic. Oh, magnetic. It'd be super handy for just like popping in your bag wherever you go. I really think they might be easy to lose on the downside. But let's see how easy they pair up. Open my phone. Oh. Yeah, as if by magic as usual, um, they're coming on, earpods connect. Oh, I haven't got them in yet. Okay, so I'm just going to start going for like um, a little bit of a run now. I've got the earpods in, I feel like a bit of a... I was going to swear then, I won't. I feel like a bit of an idiot. Um, they just look a bit odd, don't they? Anyway. Um, the big test is to see if they stay in my ears because I struggle with most other earphones. Um, I always let like, they drop out and all kinds when I'm running. So let's see how we go. Okay, so I finished my running. I just ran for half an hour, like 30 minutes. I thought that would be enough time to test these out and they didn't drop out my ears once. They didn't fall out, they didn't move. You just forget that they're there. Um, there's no wires getting in your way. Really absolutely impressed with them. It's just so much more easy. You know I've got like my phone and my headphones and all of that and now because I've got an iWatch I'll be able to like not even bring my phone out running as long as I'm not going to a place where I might get attacked or something like that um yeah so like these are really good they're very expensive and I'm not really sure if they're worth the price of them to be honest well I suppose they are because you get the charger and everything. I don't really know. I can't really comment on if I think they're worth the price. They're definitely, they are worth the price in the fact that it's made a hell of a lot of a difference to like outdoor exercise. And even if you go into the gym and stuff, I think it would. Because I always think that the wire gets in your way a lot. Um, it's raining, there's nobody here. Nobody here. 
So yeah, that's another thing I can mention. I even tested them out in like the pouring rain. So it stopped a little bit now, but I'm under trees. It was like really pouring down at one point. So they've even passed the test of weather. Right, so I've just been out running with these ear pods in and I found them so impressive to be honest. They didn't drop out once, they completely stayed in place. They seem to just like fit in your ear really well. Much better than normal Apple earbuds. If that's what. I'm just going to do the pros and cons of the Apple AirPods. The pros we'll start with. The sound quality is absolutely superb to be honest. They're probably the best sound quality I've got out of all the earphones I've ever bought. To be actually truly honest, I've never actually bought any earphones that cost as much as these, so I couldn't compare them to anything of to any other expensive ones like Beats or anything like that because I've never owned any. I've always owned just some cheapo ones um, or the ones that you get free with the phone, which I've always thought they were rubbish to be honest. The sound quality on them were rubbish. And I also think that they never stay in your ears. They were forever dropping out of mine. My, they didn't fit my ears at all. These ones do. They just seem to like mould in. They feel like, just they feel like they've been like specially made to fit in your ears, which is totally weird, I know. Uh, yeah, so the sound quality is absolutely amazing. Um, much more superior than the what you get with the usual earphones. I even noticed like sounds in songs that I've never noticed before, like little details in the music. So that was really great. Other thing that I thought was like you know a nice touch was the actual case of the i of the iPods. I think it's really nice that we've got that magnetic closure. Um, these themselves, they feel like really nice quality. They are really nice quality. So really, they are just tops of earphones aren't they there's nothing too spectacular about them but they do feel nice um they don't really feel cheap see those little microphone ends in the bottom yeah they don't feel cheap or anything like that um but my biggest fear of these is that if i lost them your ears don't get irritated. Sometimes I hate the feel of something in my ears. Um, I work a lot of night shifts at work and I'm always trying to use those little foam things that you put in your ears um, to block out any sound when I'm asleep and everybody else isn't. Um, they don't work at all for me. I have to just like get them out. It just feels like there's something like clogging up my ears. I don't like them. And I was a bit concerned that these would feel the same, but they haven't done so far. Other thing that I was like most impressed about was the connectivity. Honestly, you just put these in your ear, and if your phone's nearby, it just goes doo and like connects it, and then it just and it tells you it comes up on the screen on your phone like how much these are charged, and then also the case because the case charges them, like how, what percentage of charge the case has as well. Um, I think that's really great. It's really handy, especially with something that potentially could be quite annoying. I've always thought, oh, why would you want Bluetooth headphones? Because it's like another thing to remember to charge. I'm forever charging my iPhone, my iPad, anything that I've got that you need to charge. I'm forever like forgetting to charge it and it's inconvenient. My camera um, has never got any batteries in it. I've got loads of batteries I never charge. I just thought, oh no, it's another thing. But I think the way they've designed it, it's really convenient having that little case and the battery and everything. Also, going back to the music, the connectivity, like I ran for over half an hour today and not once did it break. Just listening to the songs constantly, um, that was totally amazing. I always did think that, oh, if you've got Bluetooth headphones, if you moved your phone a little bit away, would like the connectivity break, but that didn't happen at all. And then the cons, there isn't many cons to be honest. First con is the price, they are absolutely ridiculously priced. I actually can't believe I actually paid the price that they are. Um, I'll put a link down below. I don't even want to say how much I paid for these on this video. Does anyone else think this is like a, that is a massive amount of, to me that's a massive amount of money to pay for something so small. But to be fair, I actually do feel that they're worth it. Like I never thought I would be saying that they are. Up, they're probably one of the best like tech things that I've ever bought. To be honest, I really am impressed with them. I'm just going to be super, super gutted and upset if I lose one or both of them or break them because that'll be a complete disaster. And I just think that'll be so. I mean, look at them. 
you don't put them back in the case, like, you're going to lose them, aren't you? Or my other thing was, I thought, oh, because I've had such a bad experience with, like, the other Apple headphones that you get in the kit in with the phone and they're always dropping out of my ear like all headphones do I had to get those ones that look like hearing aids that go over you know for running because they were just all dropping off and then I had to resort to like proper headphones like that go over your head and you just look a bit daft and it's a bit uncomfortable and hot when you're exercising outside with them on so they're not ideal but they're the best the best ones that stayed on my head at least but these no problems at all um, I was going to talk about the cons and I've gone on to the pros again. So the cons that I've found so far from using them is nitpicking a bit here, but you couldn't get these out. They're a bit fiddly. You know, if you had your phone in your hand and everything else and you wanted to quickly put your earphones on, you wouldn't be able to do it with like one hand. You'd uh, getting them out of the case, putting them in. Or if you had like a traditional pair of headphones, then maybe they would... You know, you can just pop them on your head, can't you? So that's like a little nitpicking thing. Um, the other thing is there's no way to... Con this is nitpicking as well. But there's no, actually, no way to um, control the sound. You know, like you don't have a little button or something like that on other headphones. that isn't on these. I'll just show you. Um... So you can either say, hey Siri, and it doesn't work, try again, hey Siri, hey Siri doesn't work, but if you double tap, it hurts your ear a bit that, actually double tapping, um, can you play me Bruno Mars? He's saying Bruno Mars is coming right up. And Bruno Mars has come on. I'll just pick Bruno Mars because I know I have um, Bruno Mars album saved into my iTunes library. Because I usually use Spotify, but that's going to be another story that I'm going to have to not use Spotify anymore. Anyway, um, so now you'd have to control it on your phone. Like, controller. But I discovered, and I discovered this like later on, that if you double tap, you can say, oh, play the next song. And he's saying skipping, skipping, and another song has come on. And another song has come on. Uh, you also double tap. Siri, can you turn the volume up? And he's, I've turned it up, he said, and now it's like booming. So that's how you control it. I actually think that's cool. The only way, the only thing that I think that I'm putting it in the con section is, because imagine if you were like out somewhere where you didn't want to be like walking around going, hey Siri, play the next song. Like imagine if you're in, I don't know, a library. Or uh, if you're a student, you're in the library and you're studying and you had to go, hey Siri, turn the music down. Um, or even just like out in the, I'm just trying to think where you'd be wearing them, like just out in the shops, like you'd look a bit daft, wouldn't you, I suppose, I don't know. Um, so, but it's no hardship just to get your phone out of your pocket or your bag, is it, and press them. I'm just trying to like show you that there is a couple of things that maybe aren't super great about them, especially as they're so expensive. But to be honest, I am really nitpicking with those little things there and I actually think the only con that I would say about these is that the price they are way too expensive um, so that's my whole review really on Apple iPods don't worry if you don't like tech videos I won't really be doing that many more of them because I probably just spent my whole years budget of like buying anything technological because I've just bought that iWatch last week and then this week bought these so I don't think there'll be any more Apple product hauls coming up on my channel but you never know stay tuned I might um might actually get a MacBook Pro no I won't really I do I keep wanting one but um they're way too expensive as well if Apple just had like products that weren't expensive no one would moan and everyone would buy them um anyway 
just look at someone walking past. Anyway, so that's my whole review on the Apple iPods and thank you so much for taking time out of your schedule to watch this and I'll see you again soon for another video. Take care, thanks for watching, bye!